Hey people, what's up my dear friends? So actually I've received from you a lot of uh, messages, a lot of com uh, comments to create a new reviewing video about Squarespace, what are they in general. Uh, so actually I'm doing this right now. I want to show you how you can work with the Squarespace editor, what main features uh, we get right here in this website builder service. And actually, as usual, I'm waiting for your personal opinions, comments, I'm waiting for your likes, and right now, let's start our work. So, um, Squarespace is a platform that allows you to create a site without knowledge, CSS, HTML, and others on the markup languages programming, and the platform is universal that allows you to create effective sites from scratch based on ready-made templates. Uh, they may be paid and for free. So, uh, we're gonna start our work from uh, these templates, and I will show you uh, this templates and we have many categories from online store to wedding so basically we have many categories so you can see such as memberships local business restaurants media postcast podcasts um personal cv so actually so let's check what we got in personal uh and cv so actually we can create a website for uh, almost each category you would like to and let's start from this pink one let's check the preview. Uh, so actually, you know, um, Squarespace uh, currently has many, 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 many ready-made templates and uh, the templates, the number of these templates is getting bigger almost every day. So uh, these templates are divided into some categories or subcategories, I would say, such as portfolio, photography, store, blogs and podcasts, professional services, local businesses and other. And you know, all layouts are responsible so basically they have the adaptive design for desktop, for tablet, for mobile devices. So uh, actually automatically adjusting to beautifully display content on desktop, monitors, mobile phones and tablets, all we got right here. And before choosing, uh, you can enter the preview that we're going to do, right, that we are doing right now on various devices and watch a live demo with internet. For example, uh, we can observe these templates and I don't see, for example, a picture. So I don't like this one and I go back to the another one with, uh, with the picture, uh, let it be this one preview part so let's check that is how it looks like yep and that is uh, the desktop version and I guess this is a very gorgeous and you know actually uh, the templates is my lovely part of each reviewing video episode because here we can uh, actually observe uh, beautiful highly qualified images content the fonts of the content color palette of the templates uh, so for me it's very interesting and if you would like to prepare a personal um, <laughs> website and you uh, don't have any tax skills and you don't have any um, design UI UX design skills whatever you can just try right here and maybe you uh, you know it, it's like a kind of learning for you okay let's uh, check a view of the demo side how it looks like and we have actually this is the header so basically that is and I I can say that it looks really nice and um, you know the pictures are so gorgeous so we will mm, continue um, working with this site uh, directly with um, the editor um, right here we have bottom start with this design clicking directly to this bottom we will uh, see the editor so um guys this is uh, actually the editor but this is uh, here we got on the left side of the desktop main menu uh, so let's start from the pages pages are responsible for uh, the layout yeah but here we got uh, actually uh, section of blog book, blog content, uh, but we have the plus sign, uh, which means that we can add some links, some portfolio, some blog, and other cool things. I would say so. That is um, actually this section pages is responsible for. So on the next we got design. So design is responsible for design. How looks the template? How will look the page and basically we can uh, change the fonts the size of the fonts uh, um, some headings some paragraphs so uh, basically that is how you can work right here directly 
the next uh, we got color so the color palette uh, we got right here color palette gray but we can add it uh, add it to the other one and it may be um, for, for, for example okay maybe it may look like this one orange white and dark gray I would say let's check how it will look like so um we got right here orange um, <laughs> text in orange color so basically let's save the settings um, and actually I, I love this color uh, so I guess that orange in black background looks nice so we can add some animations for example but here we uh, we have none of them uh, some some bottom spacing actually this is responsible for a design okay the other we have the commerce uh, but you know this is a really nice thing when you uh, when you sell your your product when you would like to represent your product uh, in uh, this in your website yep or your service so basically you have cool features yep like here we got um, so um orders it may be some customers some discounts so it looks nice uh the next what we got right here uh about marketing so i would say that the marketing is uh, really strong right here because we can uh, we have right here cool tools such as email campaigns ceo location management we can add some announcement bars we can uh, even get a promotion from our social accounts from facebook uh, from uh, uh, Pinterest, even Instagram stories, and I guess that it's really nice. So, on people talking about the marketing, I can add that it's possible to launch email advertising in email campaigns such as Yap to pre prepared letter layouts and scripts. You can create as many letters as you like, so there is a protection from subscribers' spam, statistics on mailings, drafts, and even useful articles on composing such letters. However, just uh, they will be in English remember about it and of course we got right here the another section about analytics and I would say the analytics is really powerful no matter that we have right here all um, in all the sections zero but you know this is a template this is not a website with the personal statistics which has yep but I can say that analytics uh, section is powerful multi-level it includes statistics on sales like we have right here traffic geography of uh, visitors uh product sales so right here we got yep abandoned card sales uh so information about traffic sources and trigger search queries so uh basically that is really nice and i just wanted to show you that here we have uh, everything to create our website and to observe what's going on with uh, with this site so let's start right now editing our um, template so actually right here we have our template and this is the header right here uh, and of course here we have uh, clicking directly to this header to the bottom of the header we have main settings uh, so we can work with this heading uh, simultaneously with uh, the tablet version with the version for um, mobile devices or just uh, working with um, the desktop so we can upload uh, the logo, we can change um, the title, so let it be just like the, in this way. Um, so the next what we got, we're going to add some elements such as bottoms right here, yep, and it looks uh, in the other way, yep, we can change the size of social icons. So I can say about, you know, um, <laughs> about Squarespace that is much straightforward than Wix and Lit Pages because the Wix and Lit Pages, these are drag and drop editors where we can successfully drag and drop each element. But here uh, we don't have this opportunity. We're working directly with each section, you know. And um, uh, Squarespace pages are made up of sections and content blocks. Let's check it. And sections are a quick way to uh, uh, layout page yeah and basically sections these sections are full of 
content blocks and basically these content blocks are the building blocks i mean um they are tags bottoms and images uh, maps and more so basically this section this section this section all of these sections they are these content blocks and of course uh, squarespace has pros and from this pros uh, about this pros i can say that they are beautiful and responsive designs that uh, uh, that we have right here and the in this service and these designs are adaptive for the desktop for the tablet for uh, mobile devices uh, we have good help and analytics tools we have even a good application right here so I can add that with the Squarespace app you can even add it your website from your phone directly so you can publish blog you can update uh, some information uh, you can add some announcement bars you know uh, and don't worry if you lose your internet because if you go online and expectantly all the tasks or uh, unfinished work will be waiting for you just in this application of course Squarespace is great for photographers for art people for artists for anyone who loves design and wants to create a beautiful gorgeous uh, website to represent uh, your product or your service or yourself in this uh, in this website yep so that is really nice thing just to start your personal journey uh, in creation of uh, of the website yep uh, so here uh, continue our work so we uh, uh, that is how we can add it to the header between the section we have uh, the bottom uh, to add to the section yep and actually from this list we can select what we would like to add it may be images uh, it may be galleries it may be even a tax you know it may be some widgets such as video or it may be um, <laughs> not many it may be a location uh, basically we got some maps right here yep so uh, everything that you would like and to think that it will be appropriate to your website uh, how we can uh, add it uh, actually um, the sections so here we have this um, I would say setting tool. Uh, so uh, clicking directly right here, we can change the format of the section. It may be small, it may be large, it may be in medium size, but for me, it, may, it looks small. Yep, content width, it may be small, the same, medium, and large. Yep, uh, the next we have right here the location or content uh, alignment in this way. Yep. Uh, the next we have the background so we can add the image for example or a video or just to change the color so it may be in this like uh, in this way it may be white it may be just light bulb you know and just uh, it may be gray yep so that is how you can uh, select what uh, and pick um, <laughs> uh, the background you like the most yep so basically um, I, I would like to see all the okay so for me i prefer light bulbs white bulbs or okay light bulb yeah so light bulb for me is better uh clicking directly to the text we have basically a um, menu or this tool text tool so it looks like you know in wordpress and that is how you can change uh, to the paragraphs, to the headings, so uh, the location, I mean the alignment, so everything you can do directly right here. And the next we got uh, images, clicking directly to the image element, we have uh, a garbage bin just to delete it or just to... Um, <laughs> right here we can edit this image and by the way we have image editor in this uh, square space editor so basically we can edit uh, the picture that, uh, like we edit our pictures on social accounts such as Instagram yep, or um, or I'm a Facebook so basically that is how you can work so save all settings yep, or we can delete for that for example this uh, image and to upload your image that you would like to and i guess i will do the same so actually that is image which uh, was in my uh, laptop and i uploaded it right here directly so basically that is uh save all the settings so basically that is how you can work uh, with uh, 
with this gorgeous uh, template, I would say. So, people, I guess that this is the end of my um, reviewing video episode. I'm waiting for your likes as usual. I'm waiting for your personal opinion. Uh, of course, I'm waiting for your, um, I would say, not only opinion, I'm waiting for your advices uh, for me. Uh, what you can uh, tell me, what I need to do in the next video episode. And I guess that we will see each other very soon in my next video about your favorite um, website builder service and I guess that very soon uh, I will do the other videos and we will compare um, we will compare uh, Wix for example and lead pages or lead pages with Squarespace so we will take in three or four website builder service in one and we will compare them so thank you for your attention i wish you uh, good luck brilliant mood and see each other very soon bye